G'day guys, it's Ben from Snowy's here, and today we have a quick look at the Oztent Camper Cupboard. So the Oztent Camper Cupboard is a really good storage solution when you're out and about camping. Uh, it packs down really small as you can see here, which is only 60 centimetres by 51, there's only nine deep. Comes in a great canvas carry bag with a shoulder strap to carry it around. And what you can do is use it whether it be for your camp kitchen gear, uh, some food, anything else, kids toys, whatever you want to store in the campsite. Keeps it nice and dry, keeps it out of the weather and it keeps the bugs out as well. So what we're going to do today is we're going to set this up, look at a few of the features and then we're going to pack it down again as well. So let's get the ball rolling and we'll get it set up. First of all what you're going to want to do is get the bag open and you'll reveal inside the all-in-one camp cupboard here. It's got a carry handle which makes life a little bit easier for pulling it out. Pop that back to the side. And you've got here your, your tabletop. So from here you want to unclip, there's four sides, just to unclip your four clips. And then the table simple, oh, sorry, the, the tabletop simply lifts up and you click your four legs into place like so. Once you've got those four legs in place, you simply pull down these clips and they'll hold them in place. So we'll spin it around and we'll show you the front of it. And here we notice that there's, there's three distinct shelves, one, two, and three. And you've also got room up here for four bottles of wine, which anyone who's been camping with kids, who know that's gonna be your favorite part. So what you do is you've got the three shelves in here. I'm only gonna pull two out. I'm gonna leave one down the bottom there. You pull the two out, you slide one in at the top, one into the middle, and away you go. So now you can load it all up with your kitchen gear. It's nice and solid, they're pretty strong. I'm giving it a fair bit of force here and they're not wanting to break on me, which is good. And you can store your, your bottle of water there and a bottle of wine for mum and dad as well. And it even fits some much bigger stuff as well. So you can take out that little container. Here I've got my little sink. So that will slide on in there. And away you go. So there's actually a fair bit of room in this. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can stand some upright sauce bottles of like in there as well. You can put all sorts of things in here. And as we said before, it packs down really small. So you've got a lot of storage for not much space when it's in the car. Now you see here we've got a little door on it. So we've got a little mesh door. Uh, simply zips up like that. And then there you go. So no bugs can get into your food or drink or whatever you got in there. Uh, but at the same time, you can see easily what you've got available to you. Now, if you wanted to keep the doors open all the time, you've got people in and out all the time. So just living hanging like that. They've included a couple of really handy Velcro straps here. So you can fold them around like so. And they'll want the bottom as well. All right, and there you go. So your door's now always open. Easy access, you can just come up, grab what you need refill your wine, whatever you wanted to do, and away you go. So on the sides of these as well, you've got an extra two pockets on each side, four in total. So you might want to use that to put your cutlery in, or maybe you've got you know, your, your dish rag in there or something like that. You can also use it as well, some extra storage for some extra bottles of wine, or, or you know your beers, or whatever you want to pop in there as well. Just makes easy access on the outside. Um, just keep in mind, obviously, whatever's in there, yeah, isn't going to be as well protected as anything that's in underneath this. Uh, whilst we've got it all set up and good to go as well, it's probably worth noting that uh, the material in this, uh, you know, the inner material, is a 600 denier polyester, so it's nice and thick, really strong, should last your donkey's years. The tabletop is an aluminium, so, you know, again, nice and strong and it won't rust. Yeah, your frame is a 28 millimeter powder coated aluminium. Again, it's gonna be rust resistant, you're not gonna have too many issues with that. And, and your shelves inside are a laminated MDF with an aluminium rim as well, so they're really strong. They take a, a lot of weight and a lot of bending before you're gonna have any problems with that. All right, guys, so it's probably worth now mentioning that it, obviously the dimensions on the, on the top are still the same, so it's still 60 by 51. Uh, but now instead of being the nice nine centimeter compact uh, travel size, it's now 80 centimeters tall. So it's a good waist height, easy access for kids, uh, but also not too low for parents as well. So now that we've sort of looked at it all, we're gonna get it all packed down and get ready to leave camp again. So it's pretty much just a reverse of how you set it up. So make sure you get everything out of it first. Uh, otherwise you're gonna have some crushing some things when you pop it all down. So I'm just gonna get my tubs and my bottles and everything out. Pop them off to the side. Next, you remove the shelves and put them down the bottom. That will allow it to all fold in nicely and you, you won't break the shelves. If you don't get these out, you might actually damage them when it all collapses in. So it's worth knowing you've got to make sure you get those out. All right, then the safety clips, make sure you undo those, all, all four. 
If you don't take those out and you really force it, you're gonna bust them and then you're not gonna have the, the safety clips there for later. And then you basically wanna fold these legs in. It might take a bit of force, but you wanna fold it with the joint, not against it. If you go against the joint, you're gonna risk breaking your, your cam cupboard. So just give it a bit of a knock, it folds in. Repeat the same on the other three legs. And then it simply will just fold down like we had it initially. Make sure everything's tucked in nicely. All right, and then your four clips to hold it all together. One, two, three, and four. All right, so now it's all good to back in the case. I'll just grab my case. And it's probably worth noting, actually, it's a bit of an afterthought, that the little feet on this, these uh, screw out, so you can adjust it. So if, it's not, if you're on some uneven ground, uh, you know, or it's sinking a bit, or you want it a little bit off the ground so that you, it doesn't get wet when it's raining, so the bottom of your, your camp cup doesn't get wet in the rain, you can adjust those legs up, give yourself a bit of space underneath and, and go from there. So um, simply slide it back in the bag, should slide in relatively easily. All right, so that's all zipped up and, and good to go for your next adventure. Now that one there was the, uh, the Oztent camper cupboards. Uh, like I said before, it's a really great nifty little product and you can, it's packed down pretty small given how much storage you get out of it and it's really good when you're setting up camp long term. So if you want to find any more information about this one uh, or you want to grab one, you're always more than welcome to jump online to snowies.com.au where it's a fast free delivery for most of Australia and we're always there. Thank you. Till next time.